Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Cracks Are Turning Problems Into Solutions. This is me Priyasha Das and today in this video we will be talking about escalator questions. This is also a part of the time speed distance but is a very unique uh, type of question in which we will be involving the concepts we have learned in the both sense streams along with the concepts we have learned in the meeting trains questions. So what happens in the meeting trains questions? We know that whenever two trains traveling from different points meet at a certain point, that meeting point is actually nothing but the total distance we have covered. And what is the distance uh, equals to in the questions of escalators? In the questions of escalators, this distance is equals to the number of visible steps in an escalator. So imagine an escalator. Now this escalator question is all about visualization. Imagine an escalator and in the escalator, you might not be bothered about the total number of steps which are, you know, going up and down. Whenever the escalator stops at that pretty moment, the number of steps which are visible is what you need to be concerned about. And so this visible steps is equals to the distance which we have been talking about. Now, the next thing we need to focus on in these type of questions is the concept of both sense streams. In the concepts of both sense streams, we know that particularly if we are traveling with the stream, we have a different speed. And we are, if we are traveling, uh, in direction of the stream, then uh, we have a different thing. Meaning was same exactly, traveling with the stream and traveling against the stream is what I wanted to say. All right. So here also, when you are traveling in the direction of the escalator, imagine the escalator is also going down, you are also going down. So the number of steps you are covering would be equals to the steps which you have taken plus the steps of the escalator which are left that will together add it up and make it as a sum whole of the visible steps which are there on the escalator. Similarly, imagine another scenario where the escalator is going up but you are traveling down. Of course, you will take more steps than the actual visible steps on the escalator and that would mean that the steps you have taken minus the steps which are there in the escalator would give you the effective or the vis visible steps of the escalator. All right, concepts are done. So I would request you to pause this video. Try the question on your screen right now. And once you are done, replay this video and check your answers and also the process in which I have done this. Now, I have taken a previous year that question and I, I think uh, this would be really helpful for you to answer this because if this question was given in your CAT or that paper you would have taken a lot of time might be or if you go by the general normal methods of si solving it by the simultaneous equations it might take time. So let's quickly jump down to the easier method of doing this question. Now I have taken the complexity of including two guys over here along with the change in the escalator. Now, how will I understand that the escalator is changing and not constant? Now, generally we see that there are two people and in the two scenarios, we have conditions given to us. The first condition given is that A takes two steps of this on the same time when B takes one. This is basically the comparison of the distances traveled or their speed am i right so that means if a is taking two steps b is taking one step so this in itself is a quite a good comparison now based on this comparison if the second line says that a covers 60 steps to complete the escalator or get out of the escalator then according to the ratio given above i should get a 30 here as the ratio says but to, if you go back to the question and check here, you will see that B takes 40 steps. Now, here is the point when you get to know that we are not blindly following the ratio. Here is some change. And what is this change? The change which I mentioned just a minute back, the change in the escalator. Instead of 30, they have given us 40 steps of B. So if B is taking 10 more steps than it was supposed to take, it means that the number of steps in the escalator has changed. 
if i take the number of steps in the escalator as x x means my visible steps or my answer the number of steps when the escalator is stationary so if i take the value of those steps to be x then it will not remain x because the ratio is not maintained now to cope up with the present ratio i have to see how much do i need to multiply with 30 to get 40 now this is general mathematics unitary method i know that if i multiply 30 into 4 by 3 i get 40. now i would tell you two very important places where people generally do a mistake first important place where they do a mistake is they multiply 4 by 3 with the b steps but they forget to multiply 4 by 3 in the escalator remember to maintain the ratio you have to cope up with the escalator and the escalator has to multiply the same factor which was multiplied with the number of steps of b so that the ratio is maintained that means 4 by 3 x is what i get as now the effective number of steps for the second condition that is b's condition now what kind of an equation are we going to form i know that the visible number of steps in the case of a will be because a is traveling in the direction of the motion of escalator so the equation with me will be 60 plus x if you people agree yes this is what we learned and in the second place on the right hand side now this is again a place which is very prone to doing mistakes people generally take the previous number of steps which they have taken like 30 and then multiply it with 4 by 3x but you should never go beyond what is given to you in the question so please equate this to 40 plus 4 by 3x now why am i adding 4 by 3x because b is also the person who is moving down with the escalator same direction so both of them are following the same direction so i can easily conclude that both of them will be plus plus now the equation is really simple and any five standard six standard kid can also solve this algebraic equation even smaller because with what we need to do is we need to shift the numbers on one side which we'll do and shift the x on the other side if i shift it further i would be getting the value as this now to solve it further i will get to know that 1 by 3 x will be equals to 20 that means x comes out to be 60 now is it the answer we are searching for not really the reason is that x gives me the number of steps in the escalator which were left and the total number of visible steps for which i was calculating this entire thing was either this or this so if you put the value of 60 in the lhs then you get the answer as 60 plus 60 which will give you 120 steps and if you check it in the right side also you will find that 40 plus 4 by 3 of 60 will give you nothing but 80 plus 40 which is 120 back so the number of steps over here would become 120 and if we go back and check the options we could see that option e would be our correct answer now this was a, a nice complex question on escalators where we were confused within the scenario whether we should take the steps not take the steps etc whether we should make changes in the escalator or not so after doing this you people should go and do around two to three more questions of escalators so that you gain confidence in this section and i think you're good to go with the escalator section so if you do find this video useful please like this video share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you haven't done it yet i'll be up with more such videos on a daily basis so don't forget to hit that bell icon as well thank you so much for watching and please take care